Okay, so let's look next on a splines options. We can use it. And uh, easy way to look on a splines also right here. It is look on your segment and a properties, the segment properties. You see right here we have the axis and a section. So if we open, we can see that we can change shape. This is actually spline, but this is a manual spline. So when we create additional point, we can modify it, which will affect the shape. But you can animate those or connect as external. For example, if we're going to our splines, you'll notice right here we have an X spline by function, manual, profile, sections, and section spline. So let's go ahead first, use it by function. And you'll notice we have our rotation, translations, and scale properties that we can send um, how this spline will rotation, for example, turning in or create any other interesting effect. And one thing to notice, this is provide our vector output from. So the next, if we look also on manual, you notice we connect to the primal location for this. But right here we have it options to modify, and you notice it's so familiar. So we look on some other. This is manual way. So again, you can create points and modify, adjust them as you need to go. We next have it profile spline, which is connecting to the um, same spline we have it before. Okay. We also have it sectional. Okay, let's preview right here. Okay, and we also have it sectional primal set, which is include also angular position. So right here we can go ahead, for example. And again, this is probably very familiar to you. If you remember, we can go to segment, to sections, and this is look something very similar to other position okay so right here it's kind of overview of the some splines and again most of this kind of when you start using them you kind of understand and get handle of them and which case you want to use or create with